With a Frasier reboot in the works, fans are left to wonder, will Daphne be returning? One thing is for certain, the actress who played her, Jane Leaves, has been very, very busy. When Frasier came to an end in 2004, it wasn't easy for Jane Leaves to say goodbye. She later told the Daily Mail, It took us all a long time to get over the fact that the show had ended. It was a decade of some of the most fantastic experiences of my life, and there were times I'd wake up crying that it was all over. It's hard to imagine, then, that Leaves almost didn't get to play Daphne over the life of the show. As the cast confirmed to Vanity Fair, NBC wanted Leaves to play Daphne, but the star of the show, Kelsey Grammer, wasn't so sure. Grammer told the outlet, I was nervous about a British-accented housekeeper turning us into a dreadful nanny in The Professor, so I asked to read with her. After just one minute of reading with Leaves, though, Grammer was sold. During her time on Frasier, Jane Leaves met and married TV executive Marshall Coben. However, for a while, Leaves thought she might never marry. But then co-star David Hyde Pierce introduced her to Coben, and the rest, as they say, was history. Leaves said in a 1996 interview, I never thought I'd settle down, especially with someone as wonderful as Marshall. He's my knight in shining armor, my dream man. It was love at first sight. The pair married in 1996 and went on to have two children, Isabella, born in 2001, and Finn, born in 2003. Despite earning massive fame on Frasier, she said she's not sure being famous has had much of an impact on her children. In a 2011 interview with Celebrity Baby Scoop, Leaves had this to say about her kids. I've kept them out of the public eye. We live in Malibu at the beach, and they spend most of their days at the beach playing, so I don't think it has affected them. During the run of Frasier, Jane Leaves took on another iconic role in the Broadway musical Cabaret. In between seasons of the sitcom, she took over from Molly Ringwald to play Sally Bowles from April to July 2002, making her Broadway debut. By 2003, Leaves was considering leaving the small screen for the stage. She told the Evening Standard, My friends say I'm mad to even think about coming back to the UK because the pay doesn't compare, but to be honest, I can afford to be a little bit mad now. I miss England and I'm looking forward to getting back." Although Leaves didn't end up moving back to the UK to pursue a theatre career following the end of Frasier, she did return to the stage in 2009 with a role in the national tour of An Evening Without Monty Python. After Frasier came to an end in 2004, Jane Leaves continued to act. Her career as a voice artist especially took off. She voiced numerous children's characters, including the ladybug in James and the Giant Peach, Wanda in Phineas and Ferb, and a mouse version of the Queen of England in Mickey Mouse Mixed Up Adventures. As Rob LaDuca, the show's producer, told iNews, We figured that Mickey and Minnie are royalty in our shows, so the Queen should definitely be a mouse. So yes, Leaves is essentially royalty. One of Jane Leaves' biggest roles to date, aside from Frasier, was playing Joyce Scroggs on the TV Land original comedy Hot in Cleveland from 2010 to 2015. Leaves explained to Assignment TX in 2014, I was certainly in the market for a half-hour comedy. I had been approached about some hour-long dramas, but I have kids, and I know friends who do them. The hours on those are hideous. Hot in Cleveland came along and seemed like the perfect fit. Plus, it allowed her to play a new type of character. She told the Daily Mail, I've gone from playing someone grounded and happy to playing a cynical old bag, and I love it. The show also gave her the chance to work with the likes of Valerie Bertinelli, Wendy Malick, and the late great Betty White. Leaves told Michelle Riviera in 2011, Yes, we do all have history together and have great respect and admiration for each other. There's great comfort in knowing that we are all looking out for one another. It's a true friendship both on and off the set. As Jane Leaves got older, she made an effort to age naturally despite the pressures placed on middle-aged women in Hollywood. In 2013, Leaves spoke to the Daily Mail about what she saw as a dangerous trend in plastic surgery. Leaves told the outlet, I don't want to have some hideous surgery that's not even going to guarantee me any work and could make me unemployable. People know how old I am, so it's okay if I look my age." She concluded that she wanted to avoid plastic surgery as she wanted to be a good influence on her daughter, saying, I don't want Isabella to think that's what it's all about. There's enough pressure on young girls nowadays without them having to worry about that. It just doesn't send the right message to young women, and that's a big concern. While still on Frasier, Jane Leaves and her co-star Perry Gilpin had the idea of starting their own production company. They soon formed Bristol Cities and began producing TV shows and films while not acting on the show. As she told The Guardian, she had been interested in producing to get English people to respect her. 
In 2001, the pair bought the U.S. rights to the BBC show, The Vicar of Dibley. In 2007, several years after Frasier concluded, the BBC series was Americanized and slated to star Kirstie Alley. However, the show wasn't picked up by the network. Gilpin and Leaves also reportedly bought the rights to Stories I Couldn't Tell While I Was a Pastor by Bruce McIver. But unfortunately, the production company never made it into a film. In 2018, Jane Leaves appeared in her next big project, The Resident. Leaves plays Surgeon Kit Voss, who offers some lightness to the show. What is it? Oh. A piece of bone. Oh. It's an occupational hazard. As producer Andrew Chapman told Entertainment Weekly of the character, in a lot of ways, Kit is the moral center of the show. When there's a problem dealing with right or wrong, we often go to her as the arbiter. Leaves told TV Insider that she was shocked to be chosen for the role. They wanted to add a note to the show, not necessarily hugely comedic, but a bit of humor. And I love this character. She's assertive without being aggressive, and her greatest joy is being able to fix her patients. In 2019, after The Resident concluded its second season, it was announced that Jane Leaves would star alongside Hannah Simone of New Girl fame in a new comedy pilot for ABC. According to Deadline, the pilot was written and produced by Simone and co-executive produced by the team behind New Girl. However, it seems the series was not picked up by the network, but that means fans of The Resident don't lose out on time with Kit. As of December 2022, Leaves remains on the show, which is in its sixth season. Despite some rumors about the show potentially being canceled after the current season, series co-creator Amy Holden-Jones told Digital Spy, "...the ratings are incredibly stable. It has the potential to go on and on, but whether it'll be given that shot, I don't know." Even though Frasier came to an end in 2004 after 11 seasons, Jane Leaves always remained in contact with her castmates. She told the BBC, "...we've all remained very close, and Perry Gilpin is actually in London with me now." We're traveling together because we're, you know, best friends in real life. David Hyde Pierce is the godfather to my kids, and so is John Mahoney, and we see each other all the time. In fact, according to an interview with Ability magazine in 2011, Gilpin revealed that she and Leaves were actually neighbors. Leaves gushed to the outlet. My kids are her goddaughters, and my kids are in kindergarten with her son, who I love. She's a dear, dear friend. When John Mahoney died in 2018, Leaves paid a touching tribute to her friend, telling the rap, "...John was the dearest, sweetest man I have ever known." It seems pretty clear that although Frasier ended, Leaves' friendships with everyone in the cast never did. Even though Jane Leaves evidently adored her time as Daphne Moon and Frasier, she won't be reprising the role anytime soon. Although a Frasier reboot is in the works for a 2023 release, many of the original cast members aren't involved. According to The Independent, Leaves is one such original cast member who has confirmed she won't be returning. In fact, it seems that Leaves was always sort of against the idea of returning to the character of Daphne. In 2010, when asked about a potential reboot, Leaves told The Daily Mail, "...it was a great show. Perhaps we should just remember it as it was." Nevertheless, the reboot has continued. Kelsey Grammer told People in 2022, "...for a while, we were going to try to bring back the whole cast, the whole legacy cast, David basically decided he wasn't really interested in repeating the performance of Niles. In a very funny way, it just took us to a new place, which was what we originally wanted to do anyway, which was a Frasier third act. I just don't know how that would work, though. By the sounds of things, they decided to take the character of Frasier away from the world of the original series, which means that the old supporting characters, including Daphne, wouldn't need to be around. Nevertheless, Grammer explained that audiences won't be left to guess what happened to them, Grammer told People, "...we'll certainly be responsive about the fact that there was a brother and such." As for what's next for Leaves, we can't wait to find out.